What is up everybody? Today's beer is brought to you by MM Beer. Got my shirts. Go there. If you don't go there, I'm gonna come through this computer. So today we have Black Label Beer. Founded in 1840, 1840, Carling, Canada. Product of the USA. What? Wait a minute. It's supposed to be Canadian. Canadia. Heilman Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I wonder if they make Schaefer. Do they make Schaefer? Heilman Brewing Company? I don't know. I think you can still buy Schaefer. I would like to get some Schaefer, man. It's been a long time since I had some of that. Wow. Black Label Beer. Okay. Um, did you know Elvis, Elvis Presley's manager sold I Hate Elvis Presley's Elvis Presley buttons because they weren't, he, he wasn't selling it. It would sell something to the people that didn't like them. There you go. Good damn on beer. If you visit them in Hermitage, PA, they got kegs, they got beer stacked to the ceiling, all kinds of crap. Shirts, hats, just you know, beer glasses, shot glasses, little novelty things. That's really cool. And you got Bob and Terry to talk to and some of their, their helpers and stuff. Sometimes they have them in there and they'll tell you all kinds of crap. Not when I go in there, I'm not going to go against the back wall where they have everything stacked. I'm going to go in and look and where they have the single beers and they have some that are by the counter. And, and they'll even, sometimes they'll even have a keg of beer for you to taste. Taste test. Very clear. Very clear. It looks like a regular beer. Like an American beer. Well, a product of America. Uh... The regular beer that's what it just you know you put that in a glass you say hey here's a Budweiser someone will taste it and they'll probably be like hey wait a minute because it's probably gonna taste a little different it smells a little different from a not much no I don't think anybody else could probably tell that if they drink you know regular beer it's a little sweet but you know what if you had a party and you had Budweiser, Bush, Bush Light, Coors, Coors Light, and you had this, I would probably drink this above the other ones. This is a little bit better tasting. It has more of a flavor. And I like it. It's pretty good. Not bad. I bought a case of it. I don't I can't remember what I paid for it though, but but a reindeer's eyes changes colors during this during the seasons. They're gold in the summer and blue in the winter. How about that one time? Bet you never knew that. And they there's one of them in a, in a herd grows a red nose and it glows at nighttime. What would I rate this bird? I could give it out of out of ten. I can give it a seven, seven and a half. It, you could drink this every day. Yeah, it, it could be your everyday beer if you wanted to. It's not that expensive. I think it's. I think it might be a little bit cheaper than a regular, like a twelve pack of regular beer. You know, but you're gonna have, you're gonna be hard pressed to find this. This is from like a while ago, back in the day. Don't they make a liquor? Black label. Don't they make a liquor? Some kind of rum or whiskey or something. I think whiskey, rum, all that stuff is about the same. Cause I don't know the difference between that. No, I barely know the difference between beers. So there you go. Got yourself a winter beer. It's good, you know. Not bad. Not bad at all. I, I you could drink that. I mean, when you switch from beers and you go to a different beer, like if you're used to drinking Budweiser or Coors. And you go to like a bush, you'll notice a well, bush and Budweiser are almost the same damn thing. You'll notice a slight difference, and that's what this is. And after about two or three beers, you the taste really goes away, and you can just keep drinking. Now, Hams is a different one. That flavor stays pretty much the same. It's going to take you a, probably a case to get through that bad flavor. Not bad flavor, but that that different flavor. Anyways. Will Roe Hood in the Empire State Strikes Back is seen running with an ice cream maker. He has an ice cream maker under his arm. Why? And it's been a fan with the favorites ever since. And for your last one, German chocolate isn't named after the country. It's named after the guy. 
Sam German. Sounds real. Cheers.